It is part of the process we don't often see. A new documentary goes inside Nashville's criminal justice system with full, with full access to the men's, women's, and juvenile jail. Tonight, News 2's Maya Owen sat down with Nashville's juvenile court judge featured, featured in that series. It's probably one of the first communities that has ever let cameras come in and just view everything from when people get arrested to when they are incarcerated to the times that they go to court and then even follow some of them after court and to see what happens to them. And bottom, bottom. The six-part docu-series produced by Max, showing a behind-the-scenes look at Nashville's criminal justice system. I'm going to be in prison for 25 years. Oh, thanks, Phil. For seven months, crew spent time in Nashville, allowing viewers to hear directly from those involved in the system, including inmates. I had a couple of uh, college offers. Now I'm here. They're trying to paint me like I'm just a monster. This is really an opportunity for everybody to be transparent about this is what happens. This is what happens to people when they're incarcerated. This is what happens to their family. This is what happens to victims. This is what happens to everybody that's involved in the justice system. I want them to see the humanity in our youth. For the past several years, juvenile crime has been a cause for concern. Teens being charged with homicides, carjackings, and robberies. But Judge Sheila Calloway is hoping the docu-series will open up the conversation and show change is possible. I want to make changes to everything that we do, to the entire system. It's just a good look at what we do and what needs to change. These really are children, and sometimes they make very bad mistakes. But that doesn't mean that they're bad children or that they're bad people or that they absolutely have no chance to redeem themselves. She says it's a true look at how the system works, but more importantly, what's being done to combat future crimes. We know that there's some problems with our system. We know that we're not doing everything that we can as a community um, at large to make a difference in these, the people's lives that get caught up in the system and that we're willing to let people see what's happening. And the first two episodes will premiere this Thursday on Max. A screening will happen tomorrow at Tennessee State University at 7 p.m. And a Q&A session afterwards will feature Judge Calloway and District Attorney Glenn Funk.